Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today I'm going to answer what is the best PC to make music in 2019. I have asked the same exact question to the lovely people at scan.co.uk, the sponsors of today's episode, and we've been discussing what features that computer should have, how much memory, what's the best bang for the buck, and uh, I ended up receiving that box. What's inside of it? Stay tuned. Hey guys, great to have you here today. Well, uh, you know that I have been talking quite a few times about computer, about latency. As you know, I run a mixing, mastering and production service drmix.com and uh, you know the latency issues computer issues are always something that us producers have to deal with so on this occasion I asked scan.co.uk I wanted to know what is actually the best PC that I can put together you know I thought that all you need to do is spend as much money as possible get the most powerful one and that's it turns out it doesn't work like that. You have to put the right pieces, the right specs, everything needs to be calibrated towards music making. And um, I think it's about time for me to open up that box and show you what's inside. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, now it's the right time to do it. Let's go. Yeah. This is so exciting. Zip. Ooh. The smell of technology. All right. This Corsair mouse. I know these ones, they look good. I like them. Ooh, look at it. So modern, so technological. This is the list of specs. I can tell you exactly what's inside of it. Yeah, let's go one by one. So this would be the case for stuff that's already installed in. Got it. Bits and bobs. Uh-huh. Look at that. All right. So I think this stuff has been installed already because that's what they do. They get the computer nice and prepared for you. And this is an external CD, DVD writer. This is very useful for mastering still today. And here is... Uh, Here's the keyboard. Uh, let's look at it. Yes. <laughs> All right, look at it. Click it to click. I like clicky keyboards. This is a gaming style keyboard, and that's what I like to use. And now the main dish. Uh, 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 you're heavy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Remove all bubble wrap and foam before powering your system. Of course. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Uh, yes. Oh yeah. Can't get it out. Yes, I could. Uh. Oh man. Man. Look at this baby. Whoa, I love the orange finish. Look at that. Let's open this baby. I think I know how to do it. Click. All right. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Oh, man. Wow. Look at this. Behind this monster here is the processor, which is a eight cores, 16 threads. So apparently, this is the best bang for the buck. Even if you put more cores, the money that you spend isn't going to be reflected in processing power when you're dealing with audio. So this is also a uh, big fan, and all of these fans are quiet. In fact, you can read, be quiet, because one of the requirements is that this machine is silent as much as possible. Here are the four memories for a total of 64 gigs, 
and they're clocked at 2,666 megahertz, if I got this right, because apparently this is the perfect um, speed that they will run to. This one is a Thunderbolt card. It's still used widely for audio, and certainly here in the studio we have a lot of uh, sound cards coming in and out. I want to be able to read all of them. This bit back here, which looks pretty hot, it's actually all of the connections on the back of the computer. As you can see from this side, you have uh, uh, USB, you've got HDMI. Why? Because this has a uh, integrated um, video card. Up until a few years ago, it wasn't possible to use the internal card and uh, you always had to rely on, on, on a different one. But now this has a great card that will take two monitors and will work perfectly with any DAW. So the hard drives are inside the motherboard because they are so fast, they are four times faster than anything else. And uh, for that reason, they need to be bolted onto the motherboard itself. So one is a two tera and one is one tera. And uh, I'm gonna use them separately for the operating system and for the session, the libraries, and all the stuff that needs fast access. Did I mention the Wi-Fi board? This board is for Wi-Fi connection because we still need it every now and then, and uh, so that's what this is for. But you know what? It's not over! <laughs> yes! All right! Wow, hello monitor! Ugh. Ugh. All right. Oh wow. my goodness, look at this! Wow, man, this is so cool, look at it! All right, well listen, I'm going to tell you all of the specs here in the description, but also on uh, a more comprehensive blog article on drmix.com. Uh, there is definitely going to be a next video where I show you how I set it up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you should definitely do it now because there is so much more coming. I hope you're staying inspired. I hope you're making great music. Dr. Mix. <laughs>